easiest meal prep in the world. Easiest meal planning in the world. You do not have to make some insane, like super detailed schedule for your food in order to be successful at meal planning and prepping. This is half of what I just bought to get us through the month. Those are all Ziploc bags full of marinades. So basically, I count how many days are left until payday for the next month. So for us, it's 25. So I know I don't want to have red meat any more than two times a week, and I know we want to have fish at least two times a week. So for the next four weeks, three and a half, I've got planned eight different kinds, eight meals with red meat, eight meals with fish, and then the other nine meals are with chicken. So what I just showed you is the marinades for some of the red meats and all of the chicken, because this is pretty much the only way I make chicken. Now I've got the bag set up with marinade. I add the meats in, shake them up real good, and pop them in the freezer, in the deep freezer. So let me show you how I do this. Here's a look at all the marinades again. Now I've got my chicken in there marinades. And now we have the chicken and tri-tip. And now I've added the pork roast. That last one is not going to marinate. It's going to get a dry rub. Now since digging through a deep freezer for what you need is freaking annoying, we're going to alternate the meats as we layer them into the freezer. So there's three chickens, one pork roast and one tri-tip added. Added a couple of days of fish. I don't marinate the shrimp in advance because shrimp doesn't really, uh, <coughs> fish doesn't really need to marinate for very long at all. Fish or shrimp, because I bought shrimp too. And then we repeat the layers. More chicken, more tri-tip and pork roast. And so on and so forth, you get the picture. And now I have a freezer full of already prepped meats for the month. So now I don't have to put an obscene amount of effort into meal planning because I know that everything I've picked is already in the serving sizes that I need it already marinated I just gotta grab it out before I go to bed let it thaw out in the freeze fridge and I'm good to go for dinner the next day now veggies really easy I make a bomb diggity cucumber salad diced up cucumber diced up tomato you can toss in some sliced olives if you want just add a little bit of um, olive oil and salt and pepper just throw that up real good so I got 13 cucumbers and tomatoes so I can make that salad for at least half of the day and then I got a bunch of pre-mixed bags of salad for the rest of the sides through the month. So my meat's already prepped, my side's already prepped. Easy peasy. I make shakes for breakfast. So I've got my keto chocolate right there. I've got frozen fruits already. I've got my hemp seeds and my collagen powder in the pantry. So breakfast, really easy to toss together. Husband's lunches are all ready to go too. Check it out. Dun, da, da, for the whole month. Plus, I've got already chopped up broccoli and carrots to dip in hummus or ranch. So basically, I had to do an hour, maybe two hours of shopping. I did another hour to two hours of prep work at home. And that's it. Once my meat is thawed out in the morning, I will either put it in the crock pot right away, depending on what the meat is and how I want to cook it. I'll either put it in my Instant Pot and slow cook it all day, or I will leave it in the fridge until late afternoon and then I'll fire up the grill and grill it. So I've got minimal amount of work to do when I actually cook the meals. I just did most of the work and it didn't take me very long at all. So not only did I save almost $300 on my food bill this month, I've also saved myself hours and hours and hours of time by getting a whole month's work done all at once. Now I only have to do this prep once a month, which is not that big of a deal. And my fridge is fully stocked. Trust me, if my crazy self with ADHD and three kids and a way too much on my plate can do it, you can do it too.